Hi, I'm Dr. Haley Perlis, sport exercise psychology expert, here with today's mental toughness moment. And today we actually have two tools wrapped up in one. Amy Cuddy is a social psychologist, and what she's really well known for is the research she's been doing on the impact our body language has on our overall mood and also performance. And she talks about being in a high power pose, and she talks about it as the, the Wonder Woman for women or, you know, Superman or any, any superhero pose, any confident pose that you can think of. But when you stand in your high power pose, and the research says for two minutes, we have, we have significant increases in testosterone, significant decreases in cortisol, our pain threshold is higher, we get to think more abstractly, our overall mood enhances, just a really great impact just by getting into a high pose position. Our body language that impacts our mind and our, and our mood and our thoughts and our performance. Compared to a low power pose, which is typically, you know, shoulders down, heads down, kind of coming inside of ourselves. So I want you to, the next time you catch yourself in that low power pose or feeling or thinking poorly, see if you can immediately get into your high power pose, whatever that may be. Slap a big smile on your face and get into this pose for two minutes. Maybe you won't need as much as two minutes. Maybe you'll need more. See how you feel and experience the benefits that body language has on our mood and our thoughts. Now, I say see if you can catch yourself because sometimes we don't. Sometimes we don't remember. Hence the second mental toughness tool I'm going to uh, introduce in this mental toughness moment. When I was a competitive athlete and a young competitive athlete, there was a woman who I looked up to. Her name was Kate Pace and she was on the Canadian national team. And the story that I was told goes like this. She wasn't a cyclist, but she had to do a lot of cycling for her dry and conditioning. She didn't really love cycling. So if she got caught up in a negative thought process or poor mood, her lower power pose was, you know, shoulders down over her bike, head dropping on the bike. And what she did was she had a post-it note right there on her handlebars. And it read, if I don't work hard today, somebody else will. If I don't work hard today, somebody else will. And being a competitive athlete, that kind of sparks some motivation in you. So that cued her in and reminded her, okay, head up, get into my high power pose on this bike and let's go. So the attentional cue, the post-it note, the reminder helped her to initiate the high power pose. And that's why it's kind of two tools in one for this mental toughness moment. Number one, high power pose, increases testosterone levels, decreases cortisol levels, gets you to, you know, with, um, you know, endure pain at a higher level, overall mood enhancement. And if or when you can't remember to catch yourself in a low power pose, you might need that attentional cue. So grab a post note, write something on it that sparks your motivation, that will get you to be like, aha, uh -huh, I need to get back into my power pose. And strategically place that post it note where you'll see it without having to really focus on it. You're just gonna, it's just gonna pop up in moments of, you know, of poor mood. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, leave them in the space provided. If you want me to create a video and answer one of your questions, leave that uh, topic of choice in the space provided. Share this with your support community, and until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.